Coming to you live from Kudu Studios with Vian Isaac. It's Sounds About Music. Sounds About Life. How to create a second album featuring Vian Isaac and guests. Hello, everybody. My name is Vian Isaac, and I'm so excited to be with you today. This is Sounds About Music, a podcast about how an indie artist like myself creates recordings, specifically my second album. In this podcast, you'll experience real-time updates on what it takes to create an alternative pop album in the heart of Music City. That's Nashville. I'll be sharing songwriting insights, production techniques, interviews with fellow creators, and so much more. Uh, so for those of you who don't know, I'll give you a short recap of the project so far and kind of my feeling about everything that's happened, and then we'll see what the future holds. I launched my project in March of 2016 with a track called Revolver, and that was written by my brother Hein, and we recorded it in a studio that I lived in during college. So I actually recorded that song during college. And it just sat on my computer for years. Finally, I got up the courage and said, I want to share this with the world. And I am so glad I did. I think to the date of this podcast, that track has gotten like a million and a half streams. And I've seen so many people resonate with it online, on socials. It's been a wonderful, wonderful experience. I think fear for me is is a big factor to overcome in in releasing music you know you, you you put your heart and your soul into these songs and you shape the lyrics and so putting it out is quite nerve-wracking and I, I think I usually don't pay that much attention you know as time goes on and as I've released more and more and I'm always trying to push myself and better myself with songwriting and production it's sometimes hard for me to go back and, and look at old releases but for the sake of this podcast, I'm going to do that. So anyway, March 2016, Revolver, it was like nothing I expected. I, I didn't really have any expectations, but the track just sort of took on a life of its own and it kind of prompted me to release more music. So I released a few EPs and a few remix EPs after that, Revolver remixes, World of Trouble, where I got to collaborate with one of my childhood heroes, uh, Ladysmith Black Mambazo, that let me sample some of their music. So that was wonderful. And then my brother and I decided to do something a little bigger and a little more all-encompassing. So we came up with the idea of Northern Anthems, my first album, and kind of combining that with a digital comic book. And I don't know how many of you were around for that, but every month we would release an EP of two songs or three songs and include four pages of a digital comic book that was telling the story of Vian and Hein as they travel through time. And it was wonderful because Spotify actually partnered with us on the campaign. And so we made the comic exclusive to Spotify fans. And eventually when I released the album, we also sent 200 of our top fans on Spotify a printed version of the comic. So shout out to anyone who has a, a printed version of Vian Isaac's Adventures. That was a wonderful experience and really helped get the music out there, get the ideas out there. I'm just grateful for how people responded and, and how Spotify got involved. So Northern Anthems came out finally in March of 2018. We, we, we started the EP campaign in July of 2017 and then launched the full album with the comic book in March of 2018. Very shortly after that, Starlit Summer's Eve, the first single off the album, was nominated for an Independent Music Award for Best AC Song, Adult Contemporary. I don't even know what that means but that's what it got. So I was like, all right, cool. So we went to New York and there was an award ceremony and it was, it was a blast. It was at the Lincoln Center and I'd never been to the Lincoln Center before, so got to wear my suit and, you know, didn't win, unfortunately, but, you know, there's always this here. That happened and we went to Comic-Cons, played a few shows, didn't play as many shows as I wanted to, but, but we ended up playing a few shows and all in all, it's just been a wild ride and I, I just, I didn't expect it to be the thing that it is. So now I am here and 
I'm thinking, what next? Because I'm an ambitious guy, and you know, although I'm happy with the first album release, I really want to take over the world with this music and tackle things that are a lot bigger. So I think after Northern Anthems, I took a break from it all because I didn't really know what to do next. And so I produced and I did my label. I've, I run a, an indie label for my music and a few of my friends. So we released a few singles, albums, and EPs for my friends. And I just sort of sat and I was like, what am I going to do with the Vian Isaac project? And later on, I realized a good friend told me, you know, you're probably experiencing the first album or the post-album blues because I released this album. I worked for a few years on that album and then bang, it's out. Now what? And so I just sort of waited because I've learned that if you don't know what you're doing or if you don't know what choice to make, the best option is just to do nothing until you get further information. Finally, I was struck with some inspiration and started putting together some demos and tracks. And slowly I've, I've put together maybe four, 14 or 15 track demos and then I have probably twice as many song ideas that I haven't put into demo form yet. And then a few of the demos I, I sort of worked out so that they're more full productions. Now I have 14 tracks starting to work on them and this all happened in the last few months and I realized, okay, I think I'm ready for album number two. And I was debating touring or trying some other avenues. But then when all these songs happened, I just thought, okay, I think this is where my heart's at, so I should just go with this. What I want to do on this podcast is sort of talk about the overview of what it takes to make an album. And then every week, I'm going to talk about what happened that week and how it pertains to the album. So I'll be talking about songwriting, demo creation, what inspires me to write the songs that I write, and then maybe even a little more of the technical aspect of things. But really, step one for me is gathering songs and gathering a vision. What I've learned is I have to have a vision to do this. I don't want to just throw a bunch of songs together and have the criteria be, well, these are the ones that are out there and these are the ones I created, so let me just throw them together. I really love having sort of a focus and a vision for each thing that I work on. And I think Northern Anthems, I learned a lot and I, I may be looking back at it. There may be a few things that I may have tried to do better, but I think I'm, I'm very self-critical, so I, I'm sure you understand. You always look at your flaws more than what you did well. So with Northern Anthems, there's a lot of stuff I'm really proud of, a lot of stuff that I'm grateful that it turned out the way it did. But there are a few things that I really want to get more focused in on this second album. I think the big thing is an overall theme that everything can tie back to and really a flow. I believe Northern Anthems ha definitely had a flow, but I want to really focus on flow for this album and how each song flows into the next tempo-wise, key-wise. Just be very conscious of that. So this first step is gathering all the songs. And so I'll, I'll walk into my studio every day, which I call the Kudu, and I'll just sit down at whatever instrument and just start fishing around, start playing chords, interesting things, or sing about ideas that I had that day or the previous day, and just see what happens. And I just got a little Rhodes electric piano from the 1980s, and it is just the most beautiful little thing. So I'm pretty much playing that every day and a lot of what I'm writing is sort of taking on a maybe a more gospel-y type feel because I can't help but play it a little gospel -y, but that's kind of where I start and then you know consolidate and, and sort of filter out what I like what I don't like and just see what I end up with so that that's the first step that's what I'm in right now Step two usually is creating demos, and, and step one and two are sort of combined together because if I really love something, I can't help but start creating a recording of it. So everything in my studio is always set up and ready to go. All my mics are always on. Uh, every All the levels are set. I've, I've spent years sort of refining each instrument and each microphone situation. So pretty much if I record something and I and I play it well, I can usually keep it for the master, for the final recording as well. So I'm creating demos, and that's what I'm doing right now. And a lot of these demos I've, like, pushed as far as I could, and, and I'm super excited about them. What I would love to do now is play just a little demo reel of 
some of the demos that I have coming up. And then afterwards, I'll kind of talk about the rest of the process of creating an album and what you can kind of expect in this podcast every week. But yeah, so what I'm going to do now is play just little snippets of all the things I've been working on probably in the last six months. Hey everyone, thank you so much for listening to the first half of this episode. If you want to listen to the full episode, go to vionisaac.com slash soundsaboutmusic and join my album number two club. Thanks so much.